it's just Nose Dark X here, and today, the thumbnail might be a little confusing, but this is going to be the cringiest movies I saw as a kid. And this one was called The Pink Panther, and I saw it in French class. <laughs> and basically, it was about this detective who's the worst in his class and he's right about to be fired but he the um the chief inspector finds a use for him to use him as a puppet for an investigation about a giant pink diamond that went missing right as the guy who had it who was a super bowl announcer except it was for soccer he got murdered Right as it went missing, and his wife was right next to him, holding his hand. So it was pretty suspicious. And the main character was supposed to represent the Pink Panther, I think? Because he was like a detective? And he was savage. He just did whatever he wanted. And the movie was cringy as heck. And the cringiest parts was whenever he was with the secretary. And they'd be put in really awkward situations that would make it look like he was doing something with her that wasn't with a kid's movie, but he actually wasn't, and then someone would walk in and see it. It's already pretty awkward, but it's made worse because these moments that are cringe are drawn out for a long time. And basically half the movie is a filler. For these cringy moments. The worst part is. They're so cringy. It's even worse when you're there. With a bunch of other kids. Who all they want. Is to just see an okay movie. And be done with it. But then everyone's laughing. Everyone's talking. And everyone's amplifying the cringe. And um. Yeah. The movie was worse though because the cringy moments weren't just when we were when he was in the secretary. He messes things up a lot and he makes the cringiest jokes. And if you ever want to see this movie, I'd give it like a three star rating because at least they tried. And they did have remakes of the Pink Panther music, so could be worse. So basically, it's it's just kind of been, it was a cringy time. So, is that really all I have to say about the movie? Oh yeah, also, there was so many plot convenient parts that it just, oh, oh. It's very horrible. But the next movie makes that one look like high art. This movie was called The Last Mimsy. And it was the worst. It was a weird movie that was hard to follow and that I didn't even get. And it advertised Intel and I I'm a, and I'm an AMD fan. I do not own the terms Intel, AMD, Pink Panther, or The Last Mimsy. Not that that thing has any value. So The Last Mimsy was bad. Really bad. So basically... It doesn't really make sense. There are these two bratty kids. The guy's a lot more bratty than his sister. The guy makes his sister look like a saint. Not saying a lot. Oh, man. So, they move to a new house. And, wow. The house has a beach. The parents basically kick, kick them onto the beach. To have some peace of mind. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, so basically, they're both pretty bratty. They go out into the beach, and randomly, some stuff washes up, and it's in a pack. It is, oh, it's just cringe. And, um, yeah, not only is it cringe, but it gets worse because it's so hard to follow and it doesn't make sense. Mm. So basically, the worst part is one of the things they find does really weird things when they touch it. And even, and an even worse part is, that stuff's key to the story, and somehow, it's a shocking realization when they do what happens at the end, which I'll tell you later. So basically, they just fool around to this stuff, and it does really weird things, but the girl finds a bunny, and it talks to her in this really high-pitched, cringy voice. Oh, even better, I forgot to tell you about the beginning, which is amazing. So the beginning is supposed to be a story with a frame, and this lady's talking to a bunch of kindergartners in a circle, and like, a field full of flowers, and she says, a long time ago, except with a better voice than that. A long time ago, there was a scientist, and... He made a Mimsy, and he sent it back in time, so humanity could save themselves from the scientist who's going to lock everyone indoors and use his weird bodyguards. And the kids are like, okay, okay, seems legit, I believe you, I'm not going to question anything you said. The entire plot of the movie, the entire plot of the movie was... <clears throat> the entire plot of the movie was that the scientist just locked everyone up for no reason. The scientist locked everyone up for no reason, and he sent something back in time to basically... I don't even know. I... I... I don't even know. So basically, it is cringe, and, oh my god, it's so confusing, doesn't make sense, shouldn't make sense, and never makes sense. Ah, <sighs> that's not, it's not over. You know it's not over. And the way the movie ends is the worst part. Oh. So basically, they fool around with it, and the boy just smashes two things together, and it blows out the neighborhood, and those two things that he found, I forget, it was like a crystal that basically turned chunk borders on, if you're a Minecrafter. It basically just showed grids everywhere, that's all it did. Somehow he figured out to put them together. After having a fight with his sister, because that, that makes sense. And, uh, the result is he, he destroys the neighborhood. And, um, yeah. The FBI get in. They, they basically bar barge down the door just because there was a power outage there. And, um, it gets worse. The whole plot is that they're running from the FBI now. Basically, after going to the FBI headquarters, where they do tests on the rabbit, and find out that it, no joke, no scam, has an Intel chip inside of it, I find out that the Mimsy's been sent back in time. Also, Intel still exists. Makes sense. The Mimsies have been, no joke, sent back in time to, like, world leaders and stuff. 
And, um, it's not the only cringe. There's always more cringe. George Washington had a Mimsy. A lot of world leaders have had Mimsies. Doesn't even make sense. And none of them thought to do what happens at the end. So the kid steals a truck, which is the only good part of the movie, and says, I played ten hours of need to, for speed so I can drive. And he just rose, goes around, crashes into a gas station, just surrounded by the FBI, right about to be pumped full of lead, and the cringiest part happens. Somebody's like, it all makes sense now. And he combines <laughs> all this stuff, and it makes a weird gravitational field, that stings the FBI agents for some reason. That's not sketch at all. And he just combines all the stuff. And basically, he creates this weird bubble. He's like, electromagnetic spectrum, blah, blah, blah. And, um, oh man, it gets even worse. He just keeps blabbing on and on about stuff that shouldn't really justify the reason for this weird stuff combining. And she's like, it all make and then his sister's like, it all makes sense now. And puts the Mimsy in. And here <laughs> is the cringiest part ever. I I'm not sure if you're ready for this. The part that makes the movie suck. The part... That basically makes it ha me make no sense whatsoever. The scientist gets the Mimsy, which doesn't even make sense because that would mean that this is time travel doesn't change movement as well; it only change changes time. That would mean. That that gas station was at the same place where the scientist l scientist lab used to be, <clears throat> and the scientist finds out he's like, "Oh, this girl sent me a rabbit through time," and that means that humanity's been saved from themselves. He opens the gates, everyone goes out, <clears throat> and um. Everyone goes out, and basically, oh my god, it is such cringe. It's, it's so cringe. And he releases everyone. How, why did everyone agree to go there in the first place? And yeah, that's it. Oh. And another thing about the Pink Panther movie, we had to take notes. And, um. That meant we had to pay attention to every single part, even the cringiest ones. Which made it even worse. So. Basically. Another thing about the Pink Panther movie, we did get each, like. Two or three French, little French, like, marshmallow thingies. Which was good. It will never pay back. Oh. Sorry, I was browsing Discord at the same time. It will never pay back for all the cringe that has permanently afflicted me. And let's go back into that. Yes, I am using Google Slides for this because it has a good full screen. Sorry if I sound like a boomer. But still, pretty cool. Basically, those are the cringy movies I saw as a kid. It is extremely cringe. The cringiest of the cringe. And yeah. That's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see my other story time, there's a whole playlist for it. This is only the third one. So not much has been made yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. And... Goodbye.